Hey everybody, Dave from Gripping Golf Podcast coming to you from the basement workshop where today we are going to regrip a club using air. So uh, make sure you stick around, watch the video, see if you might learn something from this. If you enjoy it, hit the like button. If you have questions or comments, feel free to leave those below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're about to shoot a shot. grips you're going to see me install today are pure grips. Um, these ones are specifically designed by the manufacturer to go on without any tape, uh, strictly by using air. Um, you can really put on any grip with air. It doesn't have to be specifically pure grips and they should all just work just fine. So uh, find a grip that you like, give it a shot with this air method and uh, see if it works for you. Okay, so to do this job, we're going to need a few tools. First of which is going to be the grips itself. You're going to want some type of vise. I'm going to use my chip gripping station, or you could use a bench vise like that. Heat gun to remove old tape. The trusty utility knife with the carpet hook blade. And this contraption here, which is the pure grip installation gun that I received uh, with the multi-pack. And of course, your air compressor. Uh, I've got a little uh, Harbor Freight one down there. I've got it currently set to 50 PSI to get the grip installed. So now that we know what tools we need, uh, we'll jump right into doing the installation. Like any other regripping project, you got to get the old grip off first. Here's the old grip. Here's my utility hook blade. We're going to dig in and give it a rip. We don't have to be as cautious as we were with the graphite shaft because this is steel. You're not going to damage it uh, simply by cutting it with the utility knife. So you can just kind of go after it with uh, reckless abandon if you want to. Next step in the process though is still hitting that tape with the heat gun so that way you can remove that uh, tape pretty easily and uh, get ready to do the installation. I'm gonna peel this hot tape off. Careful not to burn your fingers. Very easy to do with the hot glue on there. But to do this installation you're gonna want a naked shaft. I suppose you could leave the grip tape on there if you really wanted to. That's not going to hurt anything. Um, it might make the installation a little stickier than it needs to be. But uh, I'll give you some solutions as far as what to use for build-up tape once we get to that step. Alright, we're ready to do the installation. So now we're getting ready to install the grip itself. Um, it doesn't require any tape since we're blowing on with the air. However, if you do need to build up the size of the grip, the manufacturer recommends you use painter's tape to build it up, as many layers as you need, and the grip still won't slip uh, after you get it installed. So I'm gonna reposition the camera and show you how it's done. So what we need to do is make sure that the grip is just barely installed onto the tip before we start squeezing it on with the air. Um, just barely hanging on. The air gun is going to set into the tiny hole there. We're going to use short quick bursts of air to get it installed. Uh, you're going to go little by little and the last three quarters to uh, half an inch of the installation is going to be where you drive it all the way home and you make sure that you get everything aligned. I'll show you how it's done. So that's it. That's the grip installed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, for more like it, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a question or comment if you have any down below. Uh, we'll make sure we get through those and answer anything that you come up with. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.